For us in Florida, this hurricane season is so active around the West Coast that in less than two months, four storms that lasted mere hours wreaked so much havoc and upended many lives. It will take months for some to recover. Some never will. But I'm here to speak about a different kind of storm that can upend your life. A storm that may last a lot longer than a few hours and may also take months or years to recover from. A self-defense incident and the aftermath that follows. With hurricanes, you have plenty of advance warning. You can take your time to decide whether to stay put or evacuate, replenish supplies, and board up your windows. Yes, the waiting is stressful. Mother Nature pounding on your home is uncomfortable, and wondering what you'll find when you go outside makes it more so. Self-defense incidents, on the other hand, come unannounced. Decisions have to be made in a split second, and preparations have to be made way in advance, even though the likelihood of such an incident happening is exponentially more remote than Mother Nature's wrath. Mother Nature can be a tricky bitch sometimes. Preparing for a natural disaster can be a written plan that is followed when needed. You have plenty of time to make sure your flashlights and generators work and brush up on how to operate them even after the storm. To dominate and survive a violent attack that requires you to switch on in a blink of an eye has to be learned, practiced, and repeated consistently and deliberately over time, whether you expect it to happen or not. Once you're under attack, it's too late to figure it out. Good Lord, is it really? Personally, I prefer to be prepared for both natural disasters and self-defense incidents all year round. That way, I don't have to deal with crowd shortages and price gouging. Oh, that's my favorite part. Preparation is just another item on my monthly budget. I'll work on my skills regularly, make sure my equipment is functioning properly, and have enough of what I need to stay put for a good while. I still have items I want to get to make my situation even better, and I'll work on those as I'm able. But I feel pretty good with my prep so far. I've got an underground bunker. <laughs> In case you ever noticed, time flies. If you want to be adequately prepared for almost any situation, then don't delay and just start with one item at a time. Buy a primary firearm and then a backup. Buy a box of self-defense ammunition every month for a year. Have at least two to three magazines for each firearm. Practice the most important self-defense skills in dry fire at home and at the range. Attend a training class monthly if you can, or at least once a quarter to learn new things, enhance your skills, and challenge yourself under pressure. Get self-defense insurance and be a student of your state and local self-defense laws, one article, book, or video at a time. Before you know it, you're a safe, responsible, proficient, and confident gun owner and protector who's ready for most situations. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Especially the hurricane that may come after the incident in the form of legal and social ramifications. So take inventory of where you're at on the preparation scale and ask yourself, how can I make it better? If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and watch the next video right here. Train hard, often, and safely, and I'll see you at the range.